All right, let's let's just play something down here. Pause. Pause. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 8 Arcs. In today's episode, we re-entered saying it would be really, really nice to clean up the 2552 five, chords, showing them as 5-5s. Five Why does that matter? Because every 1-5-5 five, five chord stands for a pair of 2-5-5-2 two five, five, two chords. So here we had, here's a 2-5 chord. La da da, la da da. Da, da, da. That's a two five chord two. And a five two. But they can also be shown as a D five five. And it's more efficient to show as one chord interval pair. And we had to go through and clean out a bunch of those, and we did. Um, another interesting one is the 4-4 four, four chords, where for any chord that has an interval of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. That's 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Bum, bum, bum. But that's also this one. Bum, 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 or bum, bum, bum. So one 4-4 four, four chord can stand for three 4-4 four, four chords. And we'd already addressed that and cleaned that out. So it felt really good to get that all straightened out. And the reason is 5-5s five and 4-4s four, four sound really cool. And we want to be able to compose and say, hey, let's do everything in 5-5 five, five, or let's do everything in 4-4. Four, four. And now we can. Uh, the second thing we reiterated is we, in our concordance, our master list of chords, we really, really want to be able to pull out different sort orders at will. And we knew we would have to update the format. And we have begun that. So let's show you that real quick. What we have done is used one particular scale to begin with, the uh, 2662. And we have the chord name, the sort order that we originally have it entered in, which is over here, which you just heard. And we said, okay, well, take the C26 chord. What about it? And it is, uh, it's actually an A flat 4 2. There's an A flat 4 2. It's number one in the sort order. I should probably keep this this way for a minute. Number one, see, number one, number one. There it goes. Its average constant is 2, which we know from another spreadsheet. It's a 4-2 because it says so, or 4-2. What does that mean? It means uh, there's a from here to here is 4, and then here's a 2. Anyway, we went all the way through. Does it have a root note? Yes, it does. Does it have a minor mode? Yep. Does it have a neutral? Blah, 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 blah. The point of all that is that we now have a database model where we can take this, and we did. We tested it. We just copied and pasted the whole darn thing over here. And we said, well, you know what? We don't just want things in the original sort order. We want to sort this. We want to sort it. What do you want to sort it by? Well, let's find out things that only have the neutral. So look at this. Oh, we saw Try that again. We want things that are only sorted by the neutral. There it is. There it is. We don't know why that shows in the middle. It should be like that way. Thank you. So uh, everything here has a neutral node in it. And we could pull those chords out and make a sort order cadence out of them and, and, and uh, record it. And we've done that. We've sorted. We've compose things where we pulled out all the neutral chords. The old way, though, is we did it by hand. Now we can do a quick database sort 
and then have many, 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 many different sword orders. That's just why this is called different sword orders. So that's what we spent the bulk of today on, coming up with this little database model that can now be used for all the other tonalities over here, like this one and this one and this one. Uh, we figured it'd be better to kind of start small one at a time. In fact, we're going to start so small that we're not even going to try to make those databases yet. We're going to start composing uh, and get started on our tripartite theme. So our ideas for next time are to compose with this scale using different sort orders. Um, we actually did that up here. Nothing like live updates. Uh, and we want to compose some variations with different interval pair sorts. So uh, shout outs to Too Lazy for a Name and Fabulous Life Productions. Thank you for stopping by. And y'all tune in next time for our exciting, finally beginning to compose using our new bases. Um, do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming.